another principle which we are going to see today is principle A that is beneficence and non-maleficence. This is very important to understand both of these concepts individually. Beneficence involves balancing the benefits of treatment against the risk and cost involved. So, you know, we have to see that what benefit we are going to seek out of that treatment, what benefit we are going to seek out of that uh, therapy maybe, and what are the risk and cost involved into it. For example, if we design an experiment which is very costly and it has involved a lot of logistics, a lot of money, lot of energy and human resource and out of that prolonged inve uh, investment we are just going to get a very minimum benefit that probably it is making someone happy you know and it is going to sustain someone's well-being so we have to see that either we can use some alternative methods or either this is going to be the only solution for the purpose for what we are working so whereas non-maleficence means avoiding the causation of harm so it is purely based on another side that we have to see that no harm should be given to individual. It could be social harm, it could be economical harm, it could be any psychological or physical harm. So you know, we have to see each domain, each side of uh, experiment, each aspect uh, that in which we are working, kisi kisam ka koi bhi psychological, economical, physical, harm hamare participants ko nahi hona chahi. As many treatment involves some degree of harm, jab bhi hum koi bhi therapeutic intervention karte hain, koi bhi treatment dete hain, koi clinical ya medical experiment karte hain, we know that there is going to be some kind of harm. But this principle would apply that harm should not be disappropriationate to benefit of treatment. The very good example these days could be the COVID vaccine. You know, there are the different kind of vaccines available in the market these days. And each of these vaccinations have their different efficacy level and they have their, you know, uh, different kind of side effects. So we need to see that if the vaccination is giving minimum of its side effects, whereas its protection is very high, hai, so in the result of that, we bear that no matter what, three or four days of fever, it's okay. 3 or 4 days of coughing, it's okay. 3 to 4 days, other symptoms like um, pain, body itches and things like that, they are acceptable in return to what we are actually achieving. We are seeking protection from a very deadly virus. So, you know, this is how the principle of beneficence and non-maleficence work. The beneficence and non-maleficence principle guides the psychologists to protect rights and welfare of those whom they work professionally. A professional work may sub stakeholders engage hote hain, chahe wo humare subjects hote hain, wo co-workers hote hain, wo state hoti hai, wo law agencies hoti hain, wo guardians hote hain kisi minor ke ya wo government hoti hai. So you need to see that aapke specific scenario mein kaun si uh, agencies, concept stakeholders jo hain, wo involved ho rahi hain. So, one need to see the protection for everyone. This includes their clients in clinical practice, animals involved in research and experiments and anyone else with whom they engage in professional at interaction. At times, they could be the co-workers jin ko hum referral kar rahe hote hain. If there is a client who has some kind of uh, pathological uh, personality or uske saath adjustment karna kaafi sara mushkil ho raha hota hai during therapy wo non compliance behavior show kar rahe hote hain so just because ki wo ek difficult client hai kisi ko referral kar dena bhi ek inappropriate behavior hoga this could be considered into maleficence because agar professional competencies lack kar rahi hain aur uski wajah se hum usko refer kar rahe hain to usme us subject area ka knowledge agar nahi hai to then that referral is appropriate otherwise ye bhi ethically ek uh, wrong uh, practice to have wo consider hogi. Then again, this principle encourages psychologists to strive to be aware of the possible effect of their own physical and mental health and their ability to help those with whom they work. So it's not only that they are protecting others from any kind of professional harm, but they need to see that either their own self is on stake 
आइडल दे ओन सेल्फ इज बींग प्रोटेक्टेड या किस तरीके से फॉर इंस्टेंस जैसे कोई भी पेंडामिक होता है कोई भी सिचुएशन ऐसी होती है जिसमें दे आर मेनी पीपल एट रिस्क सबसे पहले किसको प्रोटेक्शन दी जाती है द वन हु इज गिविंग ट्रीटमेंट टू अदर्स बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम दैट पर्सन इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट जैसे कोविड के सीन में सबसे पहले प्रोटेक्शन किट्स जो हैं वो डॉक्टर्स को दी गई पैरामेडिकल स्टाफ को दी गई बिकॉज द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ बेनिफिस सेज दैट यू शुड गिव दैम द ट्रीटमेंट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल यू शुड गिव दैम द वैक्सीन एज सुन एज पॉसिबल क्योंकि वो प्रोटेक्टेड रहेंगे तो जनरल मासिस की प्रोटेक्शन जो है वो इंश्योर हो सकेगी नाउ दिस ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स एक्टिंग इंडिपेंडेंटली इन रिसर्च एंड नॉट अलाउंग एफिलियशन एंड स्पॉन्सरशिप्स टू इन्फ्लुएंस रिजल्ट नाउ एन अदर डोमेन ऑफ दैट वेरी मच प्रिंसिपल इज दैट कि एक रिसर्चर जो एक इंडिपेंडेंट रिसर्चर है वो बहुत अच्छी रिसर्च कर सकता है उसको पब्लिश कर सकता है वो सिर्फ किसी इंडस्ट्रियल पार्टनर के इन्फ्लुएंस में आके वो मे बी किसी अपने को वर्कर की इन्फ्लुएंस में आके दूसरे लोगों को अपनी रिसर्च के रिजल्ट के अंदर इंक्लूड ना करे जैसे मल्टीपल ऑथर्स एक पेपर पब्लिश करते हैं इफ देर इज नो ड्यू पब्लिकेशन क्रेडिट इसकी अभी हम आगे तफसील में बात करेंगे देन दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अन एथिकल एंड दीज डेज दिस इज टू मच इन टू डिबेट दैट वाई डिफरेंट पीपल वर्किंग ऑन द सेम प्रोजेक्ट फाइनली कोलाइड देअ वर्क एंड उसमें फिर वो डिफरेंट पब्लिकेशन जो हैं वो एक दूसरे के साथ इस तरह कर रहे होते हैं दैट नॉट ऑल ऑफ देम आर एक्चुअली वर्किंग यू नो सो वी नीड टू सी दीज थिंग्स एज वेल इट मे बी नेसेसरी टू प्रोवाइड ट्रीटमेंट दैट इज नॉट डिजायर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ अ फ्यूचर मोर सीरियस हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम बेनिफिट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड एट टाइम्स कोई बहुत ऐसा ट्रीटमेंट देना जैसे कि कीमोथेरेपी बिकॉज कैंसर से प्रोटेक्शन के लिए एक इतना डिफिकल्ट इतना हार्मफुल आप ट्रीटमेंट दे रहे हैं दैट इज जस्टिफाइड बिकॉज अदरवाइज द कैंसर इज गोइंग टू किल द पर्सन द ट्रीटमेंट माइट बी अनप्लेजेंट अनकम्फर्टेबल एंड इवन पेनफुल बट दिस माइट इन्वॉल्व लेस हार्म टू द पेशेंट दैन इफ दे डू हैव द एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम सेम एज आई हैव गिवन यू द एग्जाम्पल सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ वैल्यू साइकोलॉजिस्ट फोकस ऑन अवॉइडिंग ऑफ हार्म एंड प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मिस यूज एंड एब यूज ऑफ देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू सोसाइटी बाय ऑल मीन्स साइकोलॉजिस्ट आर नॉट सपोज टू यूज देयर इंटेलिजेंस देयर एक्सपर्टीज देयर नॉलेज टू मिस यूज इन सोसाइटी बट टू बेनिफिट द सोसाइटी रिस्पेक्ट फॉर द वेलफेयर ह्यूमन नॉन ह्यूमन एंड द लिविंग वर्ल्ड do not cause pain or suffering and do not cause offense to others so in this scenario i must say that these says jo bahut mal practice ho rahi hai psychologists ki hum bahut sare recent social cases mein dekh rahe hain that the individuals who are not expert of psychology are working as psychologists in community and they are producing offensive behavior they are causing pain and suffering to other people because they are not expert in their area and they don't really respect and welfare other human beings so we need to cater these things very seriously and uh, by the statement of values the principle of beneficence and non beneficence carries a huge weight in community of psychology